All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 22 times three to the power of 33. So to solve this, what I'm gonna do is first rewrite two to the power of 22 as two to the power of 11 times two. And now I have this times three to the power of 33. Well, 33 is again a multiple of 11. That's the same thing as 11 times three. So this is equal to two to the power of 11 times two times three to the power of 11 times three. Now from here, there is an important property of exponents that I'm gonna to use to further develop this problem. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So basically, these two exponents simply multiply and result in a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this form and change it into this form. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 11. And remember, this is also the same thing as 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2. These two are the same because at the end of the day, they both are going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times 11. So now I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 11 times 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 11. So I did the same thing with 3 to the power of 11 times 3. Now, I'm actually going to simplify what's in the parentheses. So I have 2 squared in the parentheses, which is equal to 4 to the power of 11. And I have 3 to the power of 3 in the parentheses, which is equal to 27 to the power of 11. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So 4 to the power of 11 times 27 to the power of 11. This is equal to 4 times 27 to the power of 11. And now 4 times 27, that's going to equal 108. So now I have 108 to the power of 11. And this is my final equation, or sorry, not final solution to this problem. All right, so in this equation, I'm going to be solving 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So to start, my variable in this equation is x, which is what I'm going to be solving for. And we can already tell that x is not going to be a whole number because 9 to the power of 1 is 9 and 9 to the power of 2 is 81. So we know that x is going to be somewhere in between 1 and 2. So we want to find the exact value of x. So to do that, what I'm first going to do is take the log on both sides. So I get log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 36. And the reason I used logarithms for this is because they have a special property that states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. So before, x was an exponent, and it was really, it's almost impossible to solve the equation just in the form x is. But now, we can move x to the front and make it equal to a whole number, and now it's much easier to solve for x. So now I get x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And now, obviously, we want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 9. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 
36 over log 9. Now we aren't done yet because we want to find the exact value of x. So we don't want any logarithms in our solution. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite log of 36 as log of 9 times 4 because I just want to simplify log 36. And now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 9 times 4. And we can say that a is 9 and b is 4. So this turns into log of a, which is 9, plus log of b, which is 4. And remember, I still have all of this over log 9. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c. And this is just using fraction properties. So I have log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. And I'm going to rewrite this as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, anything over itself equals 1. So log 9 and log 9 cancel out. And I get 1 plus log 4 over log 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify this by rewriting log 4 as log of 2 squared, because 4 is equal to 2 squared. And I'm going to do the same thing to log 9. I'm going to rewrite it as log of 3 squared. So now remember that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, because I can move b to the front. So I'm going to be reusing this property on these two terms. So log 2 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. And same with log 3 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 3. And now I can cancel out these 2s. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. So now from here, log of 2 is equal to 0 0.3010, and log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, meaning x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771, which is equal to 0 0.6309. So 1 plus 0 0.6309 is 1.6309. So this is my solution.